You know, I think it's kind of funny. Uh, at the same time, I think it's interesting the way that even Christians classify and categorize people. Um, people have taken the whole concept of what I believe God had wanted and have just overcomplicated things and have blown things out of proportion. And in turn, I think it's tur it's pushing people away. Um, it's 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 amplified a thousand times um, what it should be. That the church is a, is still a rule book, or you know, it's it's a set of it's it's an a, it's an agenda that you're judged by the people of the church and, that, and that's so true it happens <clears throat> I'm not against church I belong to a church and there are really good churches out there and I everybody needs to be part of one but you know for every good church there is a possibility there might be one that uh, you know I don't want to say bad but you know it, put it this way each individual church is not perfect, as my pastor puts it. You know, person A can go to a church and not be offended, while person B might be. So I shouldn't say that there's good and bad churches. I, I should say that that people need to need to experience a little more. Um, you know, my guess is that if someone hit the lottery, well, I won't put it that way. If someone was told you. I will buy you a car, but this is the car that you're going to drive for the next 10 years. I would guess that they would test drive more than one car. And, and people need to do that with, with churches. They can't just give up after the first one. I mean, it's ridiculous. Um, but, you know, a lot of people don't know. Uh, for whatever reason that these people decide to kick the bucket and say, I'm not going back to church, it's, it's, it doesn't matter what matters is that people are being hurt and people are being pushed away and yeah there is some self-realization that these people are going to have to come to but we are not making it any better by not professing the word the way that I believe Jesus wanted it to be he he died you know and along with him so did 613 laws or whatever crazy number it is it's something like that um it's, this doesn't give us a, a free ticket to, to sin. I'm not saying that. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that the law is way too complex and it's, and it's way too detailed for each individual person to have on their shoulders. You know, Jesus wants a personal relationship, as I call it, with each and every person. Um, because each and every person is that holy temple that sacred temple and if people knew that um, there's nothing that God's love is is very unconditional uh, people's love sometimes is not unconditional and I understand that's what may hurt people but you know man will always have fault God will not there's one thing that doesn't change and that's God uh, people do so you know, if maybe I'm speaking to someone right now that has been to a church and has been hurt, um, you know, think of the example of the of the car that I gave. I mean, you know, persevere, push on, uh, press on, and and really seek seek the approval of God and seek a close relationship with with He who created everything and and not people. Um, you know, there was, an, uh, there was somebody that I was talking to and they had been pushed away from the church and, uh, you know, they had just said, well, I got sick of being told that I was going to hell for everything I did. You know, I understand there may be some things, uh, there may be, may be some exaggerations there, but, you know, to each their own, for whatever reason, this person feels the way they do. And uh, I know you can't please everybody, but I mean, they need to stay in the game. And, um, 
while those people don't know what they're doing, that's where that's where believers and keepers of the faith, um, as the album by Terror, as the keepers of the faith, uh, we need to pray for those people. If you're listening and, and you have a firm foundation with God, or you are a believer, pray for those who have been wronged by the church, that that we may all be able to to contribute uh, to save just one person, or not, you know, to bring one person back to, to the Lord, or for the first time. Uh, you know, so that's that's really my main thing is what I wanted to get across today is that, you know, there are people out there that would love, that would more than willingly come to God and would, and God would bless them tenfold, a hundredfold, and their lives would be so much easier. But because of the mentality that I keep getting from atheists and from non-believers is just, you know, well, I got tired of being told by Christians and churches that I was going to hell for having a tattoo or for cussing or for drinking or smoking or whatever. I'm not saying it's true. That's what happened to them. I'm not saying it's untrue. What I'm saying is, is the census says um, in my personal life that that's what people are saying. So if that is true, I would form the conclusion that it is things are not that way. You know, we encourage them to do things with you and with your friends and with your family and, and show them that, that not that not everybody is like that. Um, just encourage them to have that personal relationship. That's all I have right now. So until next time, thanks for listening and have a good day.